Okay, looking at some factorising questions now. This is the second part of a video on Year 9 revision for the end of semester exam in Term 4. So factorising um, in the name is factor, so we want to break it down into its factors and then take out a common factor. So here we've got 5m plus 15. I'm going to write that as 5 times m plus 5 times 3. I can circle the 5. That goes out the front, and in my bracket goes the leftover, m plus 3. So then in the next one, we have a little bit different. This is um, a, one that some students find a little bit tricky. Uh, so we've got a outside of a minus 4, 5 outside of a minus 4. We have this common factor of a minus 4. So it's a little bit different to when we just had letters or numbers. So we're going to bring that bracket out the front. And what's left over will go in our other bracket. So we're left with an a, take 5. And that's how we factorise that one. The last one, we've got 4w cubed minus 16w. So we have 4 times w times w times w minus 4 times 4 times w. So I can circle a 4 in each side and a w. So I get 4w outside of w squared take 4. Now this is where you might recognise this w squared take 4. Uh, so we can recognise that as a difference of two squares and we can actually factorise that as w plus 2, w minus 2. At this point in grade 9, we're not um, getting into that factorising quadratics, but it's good to start recognising those patterns. Then we have our similar triangles. Now, the things we need to be able to do with similar triangles is to prove our similarity. When we're proving similarity, we need three statements that we can see. We need a coded reason and we need a similarity statement. So your similarity statement is going to look like triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, depending on what your triangle is. Your coded reasons can be, we've got angle, angle, angle. Remembering as soon as we find out two of the angles are the same, we know the third will be. Um, we have the RHS, which is where we've got a right angle in both triangles, and the hypotenuse and a side are, have the same scale factor. We've got SAS, which is where we have an angle that we know that is the same in both triangles. And then we've got two other sides where we can check the scale factor in, and it's the same scale factor. And then we have SSS, where we have um, the scale factor for each pair of sides, and it's got the same scale factor for each of the three um, side pairs. Uh, so that's what we would be stating when we were going through that, stating what we know and how we can prove it. We also need to be able to obviously find a scale factor. I always like to go find the pair that are in corresponding spots on the two triangles and do the big one divided by the small. Now they have to be the ones that correspond to the same position to do that. And then once I've done that, I know that I can to work out a missing side. If I'm going small to big, I'm going to multiply by the scale factor. Big to small, I'm going to divide by the scale factor. I've got a little example here where we've got to prove they're similar and then uh, find out the x value. So we've got our triangle, our big triangle, ABC. And then we've got our little triangle, which is PQC there. So we want to write some statements to be able to prove this. Um, and looking at the fact that we only have a 5 and an x in terms of sides means we really have to do it all based on angles. So we can say that angle C is shared. So we know that. Um, we've got this number here, 110. It's on a straight line. So we can actually find this other angle here by doing 180 take 110. And that gives us 70 degrees. Now that we've got a 70 degrees there, we can then, because we've got that same angle and a straight line, we can use that. It's like an F rule there. Um, that's just, that may come, come in handy to find any other angles, but it's just interesting that we've got that. So we now have that angle B 
is equal to angle Q, or you may want to be more specific when you do your angles and go A, B, Q is equal to angle P, Q, C um, there. So we now have, this is our first statement that C is shared. We then have another angle that we know, um, and we don't even need to use this F rule now because once we've got two angles that we know, we then know that the third one has to be the same as well. So then, therefore, oops, not that one, this one here. Therefore, angle A must equal angle C, P, Q. So we have got, therefore, angle, angle, angle is our coded reason. Therefore, triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle P, Q, C. Now that we've proven they're similar, we can then go and work out um, what the x value is. Now, I think I have missed out some of the other numbers that were on that question. So I think there was a three and a three here. So I'm just gonna guess that. We're just gonna pretend that was what was there. If you're looking at the original question, obviously you can go back and work that out. So the total length of the line BC is gonna be six and um, We've got the smaller part is three. So the scale factor between the six and the three gives us a scale factor of two. That means if we're going from this five over to this X here, we're going to go to a smaller triangle, which means we divide by the scale factor, which means we're going to divide by two. So our X is equal to 2.5. Now, if there were some units on there, we could put a unit on the value of X there. This gets us into some percentage questions and then finishing with simple and compound interest. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to pick up with the percentages.